Hello, everyone, and welcome to week seven of English 90. I apologize about this delay. Um, it's just been a crazy day with a lot of technical issues, and I really appreciate your patience. So welcome to week seven. I'm, I'm glad that you're excited to get this content and that I've heard from some of you today that it's been late. So that means you're excited to see it. Today, there's a longer lecture. Um, you are going to be actively reading uh, uh, the first part of the seventh section of Citizen, pages 81 to 87. Um, this is about Hurricane Katrina. And you're also going to be read some, um, you're going to watch a video of um, Vicki Finney reading um, a poem and also an Encyclopedia Britannica article about um, Hurricane Katrina. Um, then based on that, you're going to participate in discussion um, where your main post will be due this Saturday at 11.59 p.m. And your responses to at least three of your peers' posts will be due um, by next Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. We're going to continue our three-week writing journey. This week, you'll be working on developing a thesis statement and then taking that thesis statement and your outline with you to the Writing Center to work on developing a rough draft. So you'll be turning in those two assignments, your thesis and your rough draft and your uh, paragraph about your experience at the Writing Center by Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. So let's start with talking about citizens. Um, when Claudia Rankine wrote, um, was inspired to, she was inspired to write Citizen, Citizen based on um, the coverage she saw of Hurricane Katrina. Um, so this week we're going to be actively reading pages 81 to 87 in Citizen. And these are written from quotes collected from CNN reports about the hurricane. Um, so remember when you're reading it, that you're reading actual quotations that have been kind of woven together and remixed into a poem. Um, I'd like you to, to read the, those pages carefully and then also read the, this article about Hurricane Katrina from Encyclopedia Britannica. And then I'd like you to watch this video by um, the poet Nikki Finney. Um, she wrote a poem called Left about the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. And then by Saturday, I'd like you to answer these three questions, these three groups of questions. Um, each of you will answer the same questions. Um, and then, um, and please use evidence from the text, um, quotations, um, and any outside information or photographs you want to add. Um, you can get extra credit if you add a lot of detail to your post. Um, and make sure that um, you respond to at least three of your peers' posts by Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. So the second week of writing assignment four is um, we will be drafting. And the first part of writing a draft is to develop a thesis statement. Um, just a reminder that um, you will be writing as you're off of this prompt. Um, you're going to write a four to five page paper in MLA format that examines one of the issues currently being debated in this year's election. There are a lot of them. Um, and if you're stuck, remember, reach out to me, okay? What makes this topic so controversial, the one that you've chosen? And do you think there is a common ground between the two sides of this topic? Your paper should have an introduction that introduces a thesis statement, several body paragraphs, and a conclusion. So your first draft is gonna be due um, next Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. along with your thesis statement. So let's talk about the academic writing process. Last week we talked about generating ideas. This week we're going to talk about planning, drafting, and developing your paper. So once you've generated ideas, it's time to plan, draft, and develop. So you plan, you identify your purpose and your audience, you decide on one main po point which becomes your thesis statement, and you organize your ideas by grouping or outlining. Many of you have already created an outline and you're gonna use that to help you develop a thesis statement. Um, and we're gonna talk about writing a thesis statement in just a few minutes. Once you have a thesis and an outline, then you can start drafting your paper. How you draft is you start and you restart. You build paragraphs, you open and conclude your paper and you create coherence throughout your paper. Um, then you work on developing, and that's what we're going to be working on next week. Sorry, my dog wants to be a part of the video. You're going to um, explain and support points that you make. 
You're going to add in definitions, examples, and details. You're going to supply evidence such as facts, statistics, and expert testimony and observations. So once you've generated ideas, it's time to discover material. When you do research, you want to find material that draws you to new approaches and think critically about all of these sources. So to shape and support your ideas, you'll need evidence. Those are quotations or facts or figures or reports or opinions or examples. And you find evidence through your you find evidence through your own experience and knowledge and also through your research. Um, after you've done your pre-writing, the next step of the writing process is to um, create your, um, is to plan your draft and to create your thesis. So you want to identify your purpose and audience. So who, who are you writing for and what, what is your purpose for writing? Um, you want to decide on one main point and create a thesis about it. And then you want to organize your ideas by outlining. So to identify your purpose and audience, you want to decide on one main point. Um, hopefully, this pre-writing that you did last week helped you discover this topic or idea that you wanted to write about, which you've done, right? Um, now that you have that idea, you want to you want to test various ways of stating it, given your purpose, why you are writing, and your audience, who are you writing to? So, for example, an idea like parking in the morning before class is annoying, right? Something that we'd like to be annoyed by these days if we could just drive to class, right? That could become campus campus parking is a big problem. So saying something like parking in the morning before class is annoying is kind of opinionated, right? Um, but if you say that it's a big problem, then you can you can approach it in a different way in your writing. Um, you want to arrange your ideas and material in a sensible order that will clarify your point. So your thesis is going to be the main point you make, and then you'll build in each body paragraph to support it. Um, so a thesis is the main point of your essay. Um, and your slant or the reason why you're writing about this topic. If you don't discover a solid thesis while you're planning, don't worry, you'll have more time to perfect your thesis while you develop your draft. So over the whole week, you're going to be working on this thesis. Um, and so here's another way for um, us to expand that, that topic we had here, right? Parking in the morning before class is annoying, which became campus parking is a big problem, which became Parking on campus is a problem for students because of the long lines, inefficient entrances, and poorly marked spaces. So let's talk about, before we go on, let's talk about what a thesis does, okay? So a thesis is a roadmap. It sets the reader's expectations for the essay, what the essay is going to be about. It sets up the primary argument that you're going to make in the essay, and it answers a question usually given as a prompt. Remember our prompt? It was way back here right here. Um, a strong thesis does three things. It answers a question with a claim that needs to be proved. It tells the audience what to expect in the rest of your essay going forward, and it's very specific. So a thesis statement introduces the topic that you'll be writing about and communicates to the reader your purpose for writing about it. So how do you write an effective thesis? you develop a working thesis. Um, you want to go back to your pre-writing and think about what was your personal connection to the topic? What interests you about it? What point do you want to make? What is the most important thing to tell your audience? Once you have something to say about your topic, develop a working thesis. What do you know about, about your topic? What do you need to find out still? Can you write a sentence that describes your topic and comments on it? If so, you might have a working thesis. And then you want to test your sentence. Are you just stating facts? Is it arguable, right? Um, uh, will it grab my reader's attention, right? If not, you don't have a thesis. Can I cover the topic in the space of the time and time I've been given to write the paper? Four to five pages. Okay, so here's an example. Say I had you write a three to four page paper where you argue whether or not you think employers should monitor their employees' online activities in the workplace. For your pre-writing, um, maybe you think about employees monitoring employees' online activities. What do I, what do I most want to know about this topic? Do I think about they should or shouldn't monitor and why? So I'd write that all out. Then I would develop a working thesis. Employers should not monitor their employees' online activities because electronic surveillance can compromise workers' privacy. You'll see this is not just a fact. Right? This definitely shows a side that I'm going to be arguing in my paper. 
So working from a, a if you want to you want to work from that working thesis to a revised thesis, the kind that you're going to be turning in at the end of the week. Um, so here's what you need to test. Is your thesis focused or narrow enough? Can you prove your thesis in four to five pages? Is your thesis interesting to your audience? Is it specific enough? Is it manageable? And then you need to assess your thesis. So, for example, if my thesis was theories about global warming are being debated around the world, okay, that is not a good thesis. Is it interesting? Yeah. I mean, global warming is very interesting to us right now. It's really affecting our lives, right? But the thesis merely states a fact, right? Um, theories about it's not arguing something. Is it specific? Um, it's not specific, right? Who's debating these theories? Um, it just says they are being debated, but who's debating them, right? And what is that issue in these debates, right? Is it manageable? The thesis is not manageable, right? It, it would require research on global warming in many countries. And four to five pages, you could not pull that off. So by assess, I would assess this by saying this thesis can be narrowed by the addition of a stronger comment and sharper focus. So... Working independently, scientists from several countries have now confirmed that global warming is demonstrably caused by humans. So this is a very clear arguable fact. Okay, sorry if my dog is freaking out. Just give me one second to entertain him. All right. So this is um, a this is a thesis that is interesting, specific, manageable. Um, it's something that you could definitely write a four to five page paper about. So here's an example, going back to our original example, right? Our original working thesis was employers should not monitor um, their employees' online activities because electronic surveillance can compromise workers' privacy, right? So if we revise that using this method of, is it interesting? Is it specific? Is it manageable? Um, we would expand it to say, although companies often have le legitimate concerns um, that lead them to monitor employees' internet usage from expensive security breaches to reduce pro productivity. So being very specific about what those concerns are, the benefits of electronic surveillance are outweighed by its cost to employees' privacy and autonomy. Um, so do you see how that really is different than the thesis before it? All right, so let's go back and review all the things I just taught you about writing a thesis because you are going to need this when you write your thesis for this week's um, assignment, okay? And yes, you are turning in a thesis, and yes, it needs to be an MLA format, that whole page. It's one sentence, but make sure it's MLA formatted. A thesis statement introduces the topic that you will be writing about and communicates to the reader your purpose for writing about it. It is a roadmap to your paper. It sets the reader's expectation, expectations for the essay, what the essay is going to be about. It sets up the primary argument or claim that you're going to be make and prove in your essay. It answers a question. It answers the prompt, okay? Always go back to the prompt. And it is focused and specific. All right, so once you have a solid, focused, specific research uh, thesis statement, then your next step is to draft. It's to write your paper. Um, you have the structure, you've begun to develop, um, a structure and you, you just want to let your ideas emerge on the page. Don't be afraid to take risks at this stage when you're drafting. Drafting is where the magic of writing can happen, but also don't get discouraged if your writing isn't perfect in your first draft. It's totally okay. It isn't meant to be. Let me tell you, I go through a lot of drafts and I write a lot. Writing takes many, many drafts. Um, and if you are going to, if, if you're doing it otherwise, chances are you're not writing to your full potential. Um, and then as you, after you draft, then you're going to start developing. And that's where you're going to weave in explanations, definitions, examples, details, and evidence to make sure your ideas are clear and persuasive. So while you draft, consider this template to form your essay. Your introduction paragraph will begin with a hook. So you're going to ask a question or tell a story or lead with a quotation. And this will really set, um, set the, the, um, the tone for what you're writing about. And then you're going to introduce your topic. You're going to introduce what is um, 
climate change and why is this a controversial issue? Then you're going to state your thesis, which is your topic and your pur purpose. And your thesis should answer your prompt, which I hope you remember is back here. Right there. Okay. So um, after you write your, your introduction, and often I start by writing body paragraphs, and then I go back and write the introduction and conclusion later. So your, your body paragraphs will develop subtopics to prove your thesis, uh, what you developed in your outline last week. Each body paragraph should clearly cover a subtopic and relate the sub subtopic back to your thesis. Um, each subtopic is supported with ample evidence or quotations from the text that support the points you're making in your paper. And then you write a conclusion. How have you proven your thesis? What does the reader gain by reading your paper? And how does your paper relate to a larger purpose? Um, if you want an example of an MLA formatted paper, just follow that link. All right, guys, that's it for this week. All you need to do is watch this week's lecture, which you've already done. You need to read Citizen, a very short part, and watch that video, and then watch the, and then read the, Encyclopedia Britannica article, and then participate, participate in the citizen discussion. Please post your posts by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. and then respond to at least three of your peers' posts by Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Um, you'll be turning in your writing assignment 4B, which is your thesis statement, and then you'll also um, meet over this week with the Writing Center and go over um, developing a rough draft. So you're going to write a rough draft and go over it with them and turn in your rough draft plus a paragraph about your experience in the writing center um, as that assignment. So if you have questions this week, don't forget I'm just an email away. Otherwise, I will see you online.